Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to upload fonts in Affinity Designer. Now Affinity Designer is something new to me. I'm a Canva girl. I've been a Canva girl for almost six years, but um, recently I decided to take a chance and uh, buy Affinity and I'm learning everything there is to know about Affinity and I'm loving it. But today I'm going to show you how to upload fonts into Affinity. So let's get started. Now you might think that to upload fonts, you would do that from within Affinity uh, here on the file tab. But in actuality, we upload our fonts from our system menu, our computer system menu. So I'm going to minimize this right now. And we're going to go through the process of uploading fonts into Affinity. Um, now, one thing that I do is I uh, subscribe to Creative Fabrica because um, they send me emails and uh, every once in a while they offer a font bundle. So I love to get those font bundles. Now, even though these font bundles, they're all really only for personal use they've they're giving to they're giving them to us for free uh, so re we really can't use them for commercial use but i mean if you're creating personal products uh, for yourself then that's fine you're free to use them now when you do get the downloaded file from creative fabrica it's going to look like this it's going to be a zipped folder and what you'll need to do is you'll need to uh, extract everything in that folder. So you can just press extract all and you'll get a little pop-up like this and you can just say extract right here and it'll extract everything into a folder. And here it is right here. When we open it up, we'll see a whole bunch of different fonts in here. Now, if I open one up, um, we'll have in this folder open type fonts and true type fonts. It really doesn't matter which one you upload onto your system. And if we open it up, we'll see what the, that font looks like. Now we can either upload one font at a time, or we can upload multiple fonts at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a, a copy of this and move it outside of this folder just so that I can take a couple of fonts just to show you what the process is to upload one font or a couple of fonts. So I'll just go back up here to my downloads and I'll paste that. And then I'll go back in here and I'll take another one like this one. And I'll just take a copy of that and go back outside and I'll paste that one as well. So here are those two fonts right here and here. And um, I'm just make a note of these two fonts so that when we're back in Affinity Designer, we can actually look for them and make sure that they actually were uploaded into um, the system. So the way to upload them into your system is you can just right click and you'll see on your menu, it says install. Now, the beauty of this is that you can select more than one font. So I'll select both of them, these right here, and I'll select them by just clicking control and my mouse button. And I've got both of them selected right now. And I can just right click and I still get that install option. So I'm going to click install. And here it's installing both of these fonts. And I just, you know, keeping a note of those two fonts, let me just jot them down. One of them was called blank note. And the other one is called romantic February. All right, let's go back into affinity designer right here. And we're now going to check to make sure that those two fonts were uploaded into the system. So what I'll do is I don't have a, a file open yet. So let me just go back to my file. I'll create a new file. So I'll just create anything right now just to have uh, a workspace to work on. And if we come up to text 
on the side, on the left side here. And we place some text on our um, screen. And I'm just going to in there, just type in font. Because that's what we're working on. We're working on a font and I'll just place that there. And right now we're using Arial font. So if we click the drop down and we can search in here for anything. So I'm going to search for one of the fonts that we uploaded. It's called blank note. And there it is blank note. And that's what blank note looks like right there. Let me take a copy of this. So I'll click control C and control V. And this is my second one here. And I'll select the second one. And now we'll go looking for that second font that I uploaded, which is called Romantic February. So I'll just come in here. And in here, I'm going to type in Romantic February, which is right here. Okay. So these are the two fonts that we uploaded into our system. That's pretty much all there is to uploading fonts into Affinity Designer. And in actuality, when we're not loading them into Affinity, they we're loading them into our uh, operating system. So that's all there is. And I hope that you learned something in this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be notified about new content on Affinity or Canva. For now, my friends, I'll say bye-bye until next time.